This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In this video, we're going to show you how to continue our creativity project for favorite artist. You've already designed everything, but we're going to work on we're going to work on the social media page. So let's actually look at the app. Connect my emulator. So here you can see in the emulator, it is a little bit slow because it's in the emulator. So if I go to social media, it has music in the background, but this is Rihanna's official website. If I click on Twitter, it says Rihanna's official Twitter. It takes you there. If I click on Instagram, it takes it to Instagram. If I click on Vivo, it goes to Rihanna's official Vivo. At the bottom, these are the web browser settings, so I can press back. And you see, and I was at Instagram before. I can press back again. It goes to Twitter because I was there before. I can click home. So that's what we're going to be working on. So let's get started the social media page first. And you can see here I have the links that I need. And again, when someone clicks on the official website, I'm gonna use the web viewer, which is here. We're gonna update this. So this is the first time you're using a web viewer this school year. You can see follow links, height, width, you have home URL, ignore an SSL. This is pretty much what we wanna focus on. We do wanna give it a home URL. The home URL is gonna be the official website. So we're going to copy this and paste that in there. Now let's see if this works. Let's connect it. See the website I pasted in here. And I just noticed something. I pasted a Twitter link in here. I actually need Rihanna's official website. And it's called Rihanna now. So I'm just going to copy that link to Rihanna now. So if I come back over here and paste that and press enter, now you can see the Rihanna page shows up. So web viewer is just like a web browser inside of your app and you can actually just update those links and that's what we're going to do for these guys here. You can also see at the bottom just like a web viewer up here we have back, forward, refresh, we've made these buttons out here. So home is always gonna take us to the official website. Back and forward is going to be like if you press back and forward here, refresh as well, and you have your trash that's gonna clear your cache, anything that you've gone through. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to blocks, and let's do the easy ones first. So button home, that is going to be Go home, I need this. And I'm just going to go home. Also, if back was pressed, I'm also going to go home. We made this in another app, but if you save it to your backpack, you can still pull it out in this app. So that's those. Let's do the official website, the Twitter, the Instagram, and the Vivo. Well, for this, we want to say the person's name, and then we want to say the website, and then we want to go to that web. Let's make a procedure for this. So I'm going to click on procedures. I'm going to pull out a procedure. I'm going to call it go to website. And I'm going to pass, I'm going to need input for this procedure, so I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to connect my input. This is going to be website name. And I'm going to connect one more input. Website name. And this will be 
website. So I'm going to pass two things in here and let's just add our comment. So one, say the name of the website and two, update web viewer with the new website. So that's what we want to do in here. So the first thing I want to say, the name of the website. So I'm just going to come to my text to speech and pull in my speak. And I simply want to say the name of the website. I'm going to pull this and put it there. The next thing I want to do is go to the website, which is step two. It's my web viewer. So if we click on web viewer, before page loads, error occurred, page loaded. These are your events. You can see you have a bunch of procedures or purple blocks that we can use. Go forward, go home, go to URL. This is what we want. And I'm just simply going to pull in my website. So remember, don't click on this because it thinks you want to rename it. You're just going to mouse over and drag that in. So there's my go to home. So now all I have to do is call this procedure. So I'm going to go up procedures, go to home, and I'm going to need more space. Go to home, go to website, and go to website, and go to website. Obviously, I'm going to fill these all in with text. And I'm just going to duplicate this and fill these guys in. So this is Rihanna's official website, Rihanna's Twitter, Rihanna's Vivo. This is Rihanna's Instagram. So all I need to do is simply pull in those websites that I have, which are right here. So, so that is Twitter. Paste that in there. Vivo. There. And IG. there. Now, I didn't do official website, but if you think about it, we already did that. See, this is the home URL, the official website. So I'm actually not going to use this for official website. If I go back to web viewer, this block right here, go home, will go to whatever you have here, the home URL. So for the official website, it is the home website. So I'm just gonna use that. So let's see if these work. If I click on this, that works. It says Rihanna's Twitter. It goes to the Twitter page. If I click on Instagram, you can see Rihanna's Instagram. It goes to the Instagram. Vivo. You can see that works. It goes to the Vivo. And if I click on that, which is the official website, it takes me home to her official website. So that's how easy it is to code this. But what about these guys at the bottom? This is our browser home. This is back and forward. This is to refresh. And this is the trash. So uh, let's scroll out some. Let's work on these guys and we'll be done with this. So at the very bottom, here's our browser buttons. Pull out that and go back and go forward and refresh and clear cache. So browser go home, you see we already have that. So I'm just gonna go back to web viewer and I'm going to call go home. Refresh is like if you press this here, I just wanna go back to that page, I'm refreshing that page. So refresh 
I can simply go to Web Viewer. You can see right here it has a reload. Simple enough. Go back and go forward. It's going to be a little bit different. And Clear Clash will be different as well. So let's make some procedures for this. I'm going to come up, procedures, make a procedure, browser, go back. Also make a procedure, browser, go forward. And one more, browser, clear cache. So when I'm going back, we go back to our web viewer. You can see I, ha I have go back. Go back to the previous page in history list. Does nothing if there's no previous page. So I could simply do that. But I want to show you how to or do that. But I want to show you how you can use some of the other blocks in there so you don't miss this. So you have this block here. Returns true if the web viewer can go back. In history. So the only way I want to go back is if I can go back. So let's use our if statement so we can get some practice with that. I'm going to go control and pull in an if statement. I'm going to go back to my web viewer. If I can go back, I will call go back. But if I can't, let's tell the user that. I'm going to click on my settings icon. I'm going to drag in an else and I'm just going to use text-to-speech and say no website loaded to go back to. And that's pretty much your browser go back. So I'm going to procedures, browser go back, and let's test that this works. So right now I'm at the home page. I'm going to Twitter. I'm going to go to Instagram. Instagram. So if I press back, it took me back to Twitter. That's working. If I can go back through all of the pages until I can't go back anymore, it should talk to me. No site loaded to go back to. No site loaded to go back to. So there you go. As you can imagine, browser go forward is going to be very similar to this. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. I want you to do that on your own. You're going to get everything from here. You're going to use can go forward. Obviously, you're going to use go forward and you'll figure out the rest. So on your own, you're going to do browser go forward, but make sure you obviously add that in there. Let's add in our comment for this. If can go back in browser, go to previous website, else tell user can't go back. So that's what we're doing here. So this is one, and this is two. Same thing down here. I'll add the comment to kind of help you. One, if can go forward in browser, go to next to else tell user can't go forward. So again, that's on your own. Now browser click cache, I'm just going to connect it for right now. Just clear history. And what are we going to do? We want to clear the class. We're going to say it's cleared and we want to go home. So for example, if I was at Instagram. Instagram, when I press this, I want to clear all the history, so now I can go back and forward. But so I just clicked a bunch of websites. If I click on this, I want to clear all the websites and go back to my home. So let's put in our comments. One, we're going to clear the web history with the cache. Two, we're going to speak to the user. And three, if we're going to go home, go to home website. All right. So one, to clear the class history, I'm going to go to web viewer. And you can see we have this clear cache. I'm just going to go back 
and I'm going to clear the cookies. And I'm also going to clear the locations. So really I'm clearing everything. Then I want to speak to the user. I'm going to use text-to-speech. And browser cleared. Then lastly, I want to go to the home website. I'm going to go back to web viewer and click on this. And that is your screen. So right now, I've did a bunch of back and forwards. So you can see that goes back and back. So if I go forward, browser go forward, you can see does not work because I did not do that. Remember, you need to make sure that you do that in your app before you test it. Ryan is Instagram. Ryan is Twitter. Ryan is Vivo. So now let's check the clear. If I click on clear. Browser clear. Browser cleared and it takes me back home. This, this has been the video on how to do the social media page. You will use the same thing for Rihanna videos. So let me just show you that. At the top, you're going to have the six images for the videos that you're going to have from YouTube. And you have right here is your web viewer. And all you're going to do is when you click on it, Diamonds by Rihanna. You can see it loads diamonds. I can press on play. And this is just simply a YouTube link. Love on the Brain by Rihanna. Needed Me by Rihanna. Wild Thoughts by DJ Kale featuring Rihanna. Work by Rihanna featuring Drake. Stay by Rihanna featuring Nikki Iko. So you can see, very same. All you're doing is using your YouTube links to update the web viewer. Go ahead and add this to your favorite artist app.